Hello everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how to back up your Baldur's Gate 3 saves and make sure that you don't lose any data because mods are now available with patch 7 and I just want to make a little guide and show you how to be able to do this. So we're going to go into our file folders here. Now there is a specific place where it's going to be stored. Now you're typically going to have your, I have my games one here and my Windows drive here. So we're just going to go into Windows and this is where all the saves will be. So we first got to go into our users here. Go into whatever user you're currently using. Mine's just named Jason because my name. And then you're going to go into here. So the next step is getting into your app data folder, which you can't see here. So a quick way to be able to do this is you can go up here and then type. You can see in my history, you go slash app data. If this doesn't work, you may have to do the uh, percent sign app data. And then if that does, if the percent sign doesn't work, you can just go app data. And then that's going to take you to the app data folder. So once we're in here, we're going to go to our local drive. So we just click on that there. And then we got to go down to our Larian Studio. So you're just going to scroll down until you find Larian Studios. Go into that and you're going to see Baldur's Gate 3. So further go into there and you're going to see player profile. So there's actually two sets here. So we have the public and debug client profile one. So if you have something messed up, there may be multiple of these. Uh, but you can see there, that's a six gigabyte save file. And this one's a six gigabyte save file. So we got our regular and our debug ones there. So you're just going to go into here and then the save games story. And then you have all your auto saves here. So it's going to have the location where you save from. And you can see the date that these were all modified on. So uh, depending on when you made the saves, you're going to have different ones here. So this is my the Dark Urge playthrough there. And there's my Gale auto save. So if you're going to back them up, I would just go copy them and go ahead, copy. And then I would recommend having the like a USB stick or a hard drive that's external just to have them on. So I have this Baldur's Gate 3 here. And then it's just as simple as copy and pasting them over. So once that's done, you now have a backup of your playthroughs. So you don't have to worry about screwing something up because it's very likely a possibility if you're playing on the new patch 7 using mods that you may mess something up eventually. But I just want to make this video to showcase how to do that. So again, I'll just go back through here. Um, so it's the Windows users, your name, app data, local, Larian Studios, and then Baldur's Gate 3 player profiles. And then the debug client one or public and you just go into there and you'll have your save games in this folder here. So again, you can go through modify, modify by date so you can find your most recent saves. If you just want to save a few of them because having six gigs of save files is a lot. But yeah, I just want to make this video because I've had some issues with my save files in the past and I just want to help out with that. So if you found this video useful, hit that subscribe button below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.